Welcome to UbiDot's how-to videos. In this video, you'll learn how to customize the appearance of your IoT dashboards. Here we have a dashboard with widgets showing real-time data, and it's great. But did you know that we could transform this same dashboard into something like this? You may have noticed some differences, but in case you didn't, this is your chance to know more about this. UbiDot's offers some cool additions to give your dashboards an extra final touch, such as fonts, general coloring, widget borders, drop shadows, and widget spacing. Let's begin by adding a background color to our dashboard. To do this, simply go to the settings part of your dashboard and enter to the custom styling menu. From here, simply go to the background color attribute and let's change it for a different color. We may also customize the widget header color and make its header font bold. Again, we do this from the same menu, but instead of going to the dashboard, we go to the widget and now to the header. If you notice, there's nothing making reference to the font weight here, so we'll have to add the attribute. Similar to the previous case, we'll have to add the font family attribute. Finally, let's give our widgets a better background color. You can leave the border properties alone and the dashboard would look like this. To give your widgets a border, simply go to the settings again and change these three fields. In this case, since the border style is equal to none, it won't give off a border, so this one definitely has to be a different value. For more information on the available values for these properties, please view the attached links at the article for custom styling on dashboards in our help center. Another feature that we can add to our widgets is a shadow. To do this, simply add the box shadow property and configure the following values, where the first number is horizontal displacement, the second one is vertical displacement, the third is how blurred the shadow will be, fourth is how big the shadow will be, and the last one is the shadow's color. Now that our widgets have a custom appearance and coloring, there are three final things that can give a last touch. As you may see, if I try to drag a widget somewhere else, it will try to reorganize himself. To change this, simply click on the floating widgets option. And now your widgets will stay wherever you leave them. Another tip is that you can hide the headers for the widgets so that they only show when you are hovering above them. To do that, simply toggle the hide widgets header. At last, you can change the spacing between the widgets and the opacity of them. In this case, I'm going to give a little more space between the widgets. In case you want to know all of the attributes that can be customized on your dashboard, please visit our dashboard customization article at our help center at help.ubidos.com. Thank you, and see you on the next how-to video.